Listen to this. It's not a trailer for a rom-com. It's the soundtrack to a hacking tutorial. And this woman has no idea that hackers are staring at her through her webcam and using this video to teach others how to do the same. This video is on for about three years. 37,000 views. It's accomplished with malware. A remote access Trojan is malware that you can use to take control of a computer. The video camera, the microphone. Remote access Trojan, R-A-T. The rat is the name, the slang name for people who are actually doing this to slave computers. Ratters are the modern day peeping toms staring at you through the webcam on your computer. Unfortunately, they aren't new, but ratting has become easier to do. An alarming new report found thousands of online tutorials. No send this to victim with a smiley face. Respect the hackers. By the way, slaving, victims, the hackers' terms, not ours. The ratters even sell their slaves. In one instance, $5 for girls, $1 for guys. A lot of these how-to tutorials, mm -hmm. they're in plain sight. A lot of them you found were on YouTube. Yes. One of the most well-known cases of ratting took place in 2013. Cassidy Wolf is the former Miss Teen USA. I had an email sent to my computer anonymously, threatening me, giving me three options to do whatever he asked. The first one being to Snapchat him, the second one being to send him better quality photos, and the third one being to video him for five minutes doing whatever he asked. And that's how it started. But that's not where it ended. He was threatening me with 30 emails a day, so I knew I couldn't stop him on my own. Going to the authorities seemed like the most logical explanation, so that's um, what my mom and I chose to do. Later that year, Wolf's hacker was apprehended by the FBI. But since then, ratting has only become easier. How-to videos have become especially easy to find on YouTube. And unless victims come forward, many ratters are never pursued by law enforcement. Literally anybody can get a hold of somebody's computer and basically terrorize someone's life. The people behind the blurred images are real people who have to deal with this. And it doesn't stop there. Benson says the ratters and YouTube are making money off many of these videos through advertising. Krylon, make it yours. Psst, psst ads from major advertisers, car companies, credit card companies, suddenly they find their products up next to bad actors and often criminal actors. YouTube does allow users to flag videos like these for deletion, but Benson says that's not enough. We would like to see human teams, human engineers, reviewing these videos, making sure that people are not victimized and re-victimized over and over and over again. When asked about these videos, YouTube said they have clear policies that outline what content is acceptable to post, and they remove videos violating these policies when flagged by their users. But for Cassidy and others like her, it might be too little, too late.